So one thing you're going to hear a lot about in the future are terpenes. And terpenes are becoming really popular, especially within the cannabis industry, because people keep trying to get terpenes that will have specific flavors and smells and qualities that they just want. So terpenes is kind of the new buzzword. Um, so I'm just going to go over a couple of reasons why we even care about terpenes. Um, citrus pill oils contain the highest amount of terpenes than most other essential oils. And while we care about, you know, citrus oils or other terpene containing plants are because monoterpenes are very antiseptic, bacterial -cidal, which means they actually will kill um, bacteria. They're analgesic, so they can stop pain. And they're also mucolytic. And the important thing about being mucolytic is that that can dissolve fatty masses. Like in Chinese medicine, we consider um, a mass of qi and blood stagnation to be anything from a cyst, a fibroid, or a cancerous tumor. So it's really important to think, oh, well, these plants are mucolytic, so they could actually start shrinking fibroids and shrinking tumors. You do want to be careful because monoterpenes can cause skin irritation in high concentrations. Um, and they're generally found in most essential oils. Some examples would be thyme oil from thyme or monarda or menthol from mint. We also have sesquiterpenes, which basically just means it's a larger carbon chain. And they tend to be anti-inflammatory and antispasmodic. On the market a few years ago, the highest concentration of um, alpha bisabolol, which is an anti-inflammatory property in chamomile, was shown in studies to be the highest anti-inflammatory essential oil on the market. So really important to think about, you know, especially with something like chamomile, it's a very expensive essential oil and a very inexpensive herb to use on its own. So sometimes you can't even say, oh, well, this herb is cheap to buy in its raw form, but it takes a lot more plant matter once we concentrate it and extract it into an essential oil. Diterpenes are also pretty important to know about when we're talking about terpenes. They're antifungal, antiviral, expectorant, and a purgative. So a purgative means it can actually make you purge your bowels. So also, if you're taking internally, you want to be concerned about the concentrations because you don't want to give someone diarrhea. Diterpenes also contain phytosteroids for hormonal balancing. And these are rarely found in essential oils, but they're also important to talk about because some people and some books say that diterpenes should not be used in people that have estrogen dependent cancers, so maybe like a breast cancer or an ovarian cancer, you might just want to be a little bit more concerned or aware that um, there could be some phytosteroids in the essential oil that you're using. Some examples, and it is a plant that we use for breast cancer in the form of Taxol, which is the pharmaceutical um, equivalent of Paclitaxel, which comes from the Pacific yew tree.